All right, and the wind then will be at the back of the Aggies. And, and a, once more, that's a north wind today at 13 miles per hour. And looking at the flags here up above the rim of the stadium, there's a big American flag and a KU flag down there. And they're standing out, or I guess that's the state of Kansas flag. They're standing out pretty good from those flagpoles. So an advantage here for Skates, uh, Kevin Smith, as he gets ready to kick off for Texas A&M. That's right, Dave. And the most impressive thing about this is uh, in the past, most teams that we've played, they, they want to kick the ball to our offense. But with the success we've had over the last three weeks, with uh, Coach, what Coach Sumlin has, Sumlin has done with the, our offense, uh, Kansas elected to take the ball and, and look at their offense first. So that's, um, that's a change-up. That's a little switch. Have gas away here at the uh, bottom, and then the top return man as we look at it is Greg Hagens. Hagens number uh, four in the uh, NCAA and returns 15 for an average of 30. He has one, he's returned 100 yards for a touchdown. And he's standing at the goal line out here on this side of the lower hash mark is gas away. Here's the kickoff. This one's going to sail through the uh, end zone, and it'll bring it out to the 20. So good wind at his back, and out to the 20 the ball will come, and that's where Kansas will set up. First down and 10 at their 20. Whittemore, six foot, 195, Juco transfer. 111 completions on 224 passes and five intercepts. Over 1,200 yards passing. They'll open with an eye formation. And Whittemore will turn around and say something to his running butts. The tailback will be green. They're going to start to run the option in the misdirection. Whittemore cuts it back, started left, goes back to his right, carries to the 25. Found a hole on the right side as they started the option back to the left. And he picks up five, and he does like to run the ball. Ty Warren just made the stop. Second down and five at their 25. Put a man in motion. That'll be Jones, one of the tight ends. Drops back to the 20, throws the ball off the fingertips of the man that went in motion, Jones. At the 30, chased into the sideline, incomplete by Jackson Appel. There's third down and five at their 25, single setback. And a slot to the right, flanker here on this side. Slot man goes in motion, coming back to this side. Drops back to the 20, throws, caught, it's a first down. That goes to Jones to tie it in at the 31-yard line. Caught it, went down immediately. Chased from the backside by Jackson Appel, but they'll pick up a first down. So they, Simmons will split in on this side. They've got two flankers on the right, single set back. Whittemore under center, hands off to Green. They're going to try to string it out. He cuts back to his left. He gets about four yards to the 35-yard line. That was a first and 10 from their 31. And Green carries to the KU 35. So now second down and six coming up for KU at their 35-yard line. They need their 41. Two wides on this side and a shotgun for Whittemore on second down and the six. He'll take the snap at his 30-yard line. Has it. And he fakes an inside handoff and then hands off to the right half back. And the Aggies are all over that. They're going to drop him at the 31. They pushed him back to the 25. And all the way back to the, where are they going to spot it officially? At the 29-yard line. Shotgun, and they've got three on this side of the formation, one at the top. Running back to his left, has the snap, rolls back, sets up, throws the ball as he's hit. And it's a, it's a dying duck as it goes out uh, into the KU bench on this side of the field. Pressure applied by Gerard Penwright, who came into the game today. Uh, having started 18 consecutive games and 20 tackles with six starts this year. He's got Bethel Johnson standing back at the Aggie 31. Line of scrimmage is the KU 29. He's kicking into the wind. It's a high sailor, and it's off to the right side. Bethel comes over. He got the ball, and it hit down around his ankle, and then he fell on top of it. It was close. Cool. He came to it and tried to back away, and as it did, I think it hit him on the right ankle, and then he fell right on top of it, and the official spot will be at the Aggie 38-yard line. That was a 34-yard kick into the win. First down and 10, the official spot looks like the 38-yard line. We're kind of at a bad angle here at this end of the field. An eye formation behind long, and it goes to Farmer, and they try a sweep to the left side, and the Ags are going to lose on that. They'll lose back to the 36-yard line. Loss of two on a first and 10. It'll be second down and 12 coming up. Farmer, 5'11", 192, sophomore, one letter out of Tyler Lee. Dustin Long shows shotgun with Farmer to his right. Offensive line is as we announce. They're going to throw here a little screen off to the right side. That goes to Murphy. Murphy kicked and falls down as he hit, was hit around the left thigh, and he goes down after about a yard gain. Here's third down and 10 for the Aggies at their own 38. They need the 48-yard liner midfield. Two wides on the left. Slot man over there will be Porter. Ball has been snapped. Long time to throw. He's going far side. He's got Taylor. Little pushing and shoving. Ball knocked away down around the KU 30. At the 30-yard line, knocked away by Donnie Amati. So Amati knocks it away, and the Aggies will punt on their first possession. 
Ramis Johnson has been their return man coming into the game today, and that's who's standing back there now. Johnson, 15 returns and an average of 9.3. Not a good kick off the side of his foot. It's coming over to this side of the field, and it goes out of bounds about the KU 25-yard line. He went out at the 25. They're going to mark it back at the KU 23-yard line. So the spot's at the 23. All right, 10.47 to go here in the first period, and Kansas uh, with the ball again at their own 23. They picked up a first down on their first possession, then punted away. The Aggies go three and out on a punt. No score in the game, and Whittemore is in a shotgun with Green is running back off to his left. He's got three wides on the right, two in a slot. Going to throw it out in the flats off the fingertips of the intended receiver back behind the line at the 20 intended for Gasaway. Keel was closing on him, but it goes incomplete. Second down and 10 at their 23. Shotgun again, running backs on both sides of Whittemore. Has his snap inside handoff. Nope, it was a fake, and they throw it to Green out of the backfield. Caught it at the 30, across the 30 to the 35, 36, 37 yard line to Green. That was the man that they faked to, and then he carries out across the 35 to the 37 on a 14 yard pass out of the backfield to Clark Green. That'll be his 22nd reception of the season. 10.25 to go on the first. It's a first and 10 at their 37 KU. There's no score in the game, and it's a draw, and it goes to Green. Green hits the middle, and he fights for about, no, a couple to the 39-yard line. It'll be second down and eight coming up from the 39 for KU. Marcus Jasmine who has 30 tackles into the game today, along with Jared Morris combined on that tackle. Second down and eight at the 39. They're 39 KU. The wrecking crew out on the field for the Ags in a scoreless game. Out of the shotgun, drops back, sets up 31, lofting one this sideline, and he overthrows his man at about the Aggie 35-yard line, intended for Derek Mills. He's out of Dallas Carter. Mills 5-7, two letters. And guarded that time by Sammy Davis, but nobody had a chance at that ball. And Sammy may be hurt now as he bends over, and he's taking himself out of the game. One out of two on third downs. Third down and eight for KU at their 39-yard line. They need the 47. Steps up, throws the ball high through the fingertips of the intended receiver at midfield. And that was intended for Adrian Jones, the tight end out of Dallas Carter. Goes incomplete. Fourth down coming up. They got the ball out to their 39 on a first down and 10 at the 37 yard line. And Bethel Johnson, who had trouble on that first one, hit him around the foot on the first punt, fell on top of it as Kansas was closing on him. Here's the kick. Oh, this is a sailor into that win. Johnson now is calling for a fair catch. He takes it at the Aggie 17 yard line. And that kick went 44 yards into the win by Ansel. Good high sailor. And it's long under center, has the snap, play action, rolls to his left. He's going to throw sideline. He's got, uh, is that Jamar Taylor? Jamar he Taylor, made, made the catch. catch across the 50 at the 47-yard line. He goes up, brings it down, 36 yards to Taylor. And for Taylor, that will be his 30th catch of the season. The Aggies move into KU territory. First down and 10, 9-14 to go in the first and no score. He caught the ball and immediately went down as he was stretching out to bring it in. The Aggies come out. They'll show a tight end on both sides of the formation. Tight end, however, on the right. And here's the throw. It goes to the far side to Johnson. Put a little move, did he, on the reception. Step back to the 45 and then goes down to the 43, and he's tackled there. First man to get to him was Zach Dyer. Have a second down. Scoreboard says six to go with the ball at the KU 43-yard line. They need the 37. I formation behind Long. Split in on the left, flanker on the right, tight end right. Goes to Farmer. Farmer, a little bit of a hole on the left side, gets it to the 40. Be a pickup of about... Oh, two and a half yards, and the Aggies will face a third down and three as Farmer got the carry and brought down by Leo Etienne. Aggies are 40.8% on thirds this year. Third down and three at the K, uh, KU 40. Here's a pass that is deflected up in the air and then caught by Taylor on the deflection, the intended receiver, and they're going to spot him shy of the first down at the uh, Kansas 38-yard line. It'll be fourth and about a yard for the Aggies. They need right at the 37. Looking for that 25-second clock, and I don't spot it right now. I'm still trying to find it. There it is, down to 20, so still plenty of time there. I formation. Handoff will go to Farmer. Starts, and I don't think he got it. Started to the right, tried to cut it back to his left. He did not get it. He's going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage, which was the 38-yard line. On downs, the Aggies will give it up to Kansas. 
at the Kansas 38. That was fourth and a little more than a yard. And the Jayhawks now will take over. Six minutes and 42 seconds to go on the first. No score. Kansas gets the ball back as the Aggies cannot convert first on third down. And then secondly on fourth down. Try to go for it on fourth down and about a yard and a half. So KU will take over at about their 38 and a half. They show shotgun. Two running backs, both sides. Two wides on the right. And they're going to run the option. Here is Whittemore caught behind the line and drugged down after about a yard gain. He wanted to pitch, and uh, Ty Warren wouldn't allow that. He cut off the pitch man and then made the tackle. About a half yard picked up. Second down and a long nine. Second down and a long nine. Shotgun for Kansas. Two wides on the left, one on the right. Short side is to the right. Aggies were threatening to come, and they are. A lot of pressure. Going to throw it out here in the flats. Caught out of the backfield by Green. He goes out of bounds, shy of the 50. Does not have a first down as he goes across the 45 and out at about the 47 and a half yard line. He'll be shy of a first down by about a yard. So now a third down and about a yard, a little less than that. The clock shows 554. And there's no score. Kansas with the football near midfield. They make a shift on the offensive line. The tight end steps back. Now he goes in motion, coming back this way, and it goes to the tailback. And they'll pick up the first down across the 50. Green to the Aggie 49. Power left side, and Green will get the first down for Kansas. Kansas just picked up their third first down of the game. First down and 10 at the Aggie 49. The ball almost in the middle of the field, right on top of the Jayhawk. That is in the middle of uh, Memorial Stadium on the playing surface. There's some whistles, and there's a delay of game has been called against uh, KU. They ran out a 25-second clock. It's kind of strange when you move the chains and all of that. <laughs> That's right. That was a quick one, Dave. First down and 15. The ball has been moved back into uh, Jayhawk territory at their 46. Out of the shotgun, throw it out, and the, they're going to have a halfback pass. They throw the ball, and it just hit the uh, defender on that, Sean Weston, in the back. We were in a man-to-man -man coverage. Normally that play works in the zone coverage, and you try to draw the safety up. But that time we were in man coverage, so we had him covered. Tight end left, slot right, flanker left. Under pressure here is Whittemore running. He's wanting to throw. Now he's being chased, and he's finally caught back at the 45-yard line by Gerard Penright. Penright down around his ankles. And uh, Whittemore was looking all over the place trying to find an open receiver and could not do it. And Penwright will get the tackle behind the line back at the uh, Kansas 45. Two wides come to this side. They'll set the tight end up in the backfield, more or less like a fullback, but he's flexed out left side. Whittemore has the uh, snap. He rolls to his left. He's under pressure, and he's caught again from the backside, and this time it's going to be Ty Warren, and Ty just caught him back at the 42-yard line. Great job by Ty Warren. They missed the All-American. He was voted uh, 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 midway, mid-season All-American this year, and I'll tell you what, the play before that, Ty Warren had a sack, and Whittemore got, got away from him, which allowed Penwright to make the sack. That time, Ty Warren, being double-teamed, got through and made the sack, ran the quarterback down. Back up here, all the way back to their 42 on fourth down and 19. Ansel to kick it away again. Three-step kicker, and he has hit this one. He got all of it, and here is Bethel. Did not ask for the fair catch at the 15. Looking for a block, turns, gets out to about the 20, 22-yard line. About a seven-yard return, and that kick will go about 36 yards off the foot of Curtis Ansel. And Texas A&M and Kansas are scoreless as we work our way down to the end of the first period. All right, here comes A&M to the line of scrimmage. Dustin Long is under center. Jeff Handgartner, no changes in the offensive line. Whitley and Brooks on this side. You got Yates and Hightower on the other side. And on a delay out of the backfield, it will go to Farmer. Farmer across the 30 and out near the 34-yard line. Just got an Aggie first down, a pick up there of about 12 yards. So Farmer carries out to the, let's see the official spot. Looks like it'll be the 34. Offensive line averages 304 pounds. They've given up 12 sacks this year. Meanwhile, the uh, Aggie D, the wrecking crew, with 26 sacks on the year. It's an eye formation. Stacy Jones is the fullback. Farmer is the tailback. The tight end here on the right side is Carragher. And it's play action. Dropping back, throwing the football. And it is caught out across the 43, 44 yard line. And that's caught by Terrence Murphy. Aggies have their now third first down of the game. 
Time is 2.30, clock rolls, no score, first period. AM at their 44-yard line. Play action for Long, plenty of time to throw. Does this way to Taylor, caught it at the 49, broke a tackle, goes across the 50s at the 48-yard line. KU side of the midfield stripe, brought down by Leo Etienne. Got him on the uh, stat monitor, three catches, 44 yards now. It's a third down, a second down rather, and three at the 48-yard line. They need the 45, do the Aggies hash right. Got to tie it in on both sides of the formation. Goes to Farmer. A little bit of a hole there for a moment. Closes down, but he gets it across the 45. He'll be near a first down. He got the first down at the 44-yard line. So Farmer on the carry, and the Aggies get another first down. Slot on the left, tight end right, flanker right, single set back. It's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. High to Murphy across the 35 at about the 34. Would have been enough for a first down. He could not hold on to it. Donnie Amati out of Leaf Hastings was there to make sure he didn't catch the ball. Here's a second down and 10 for a and Ball now at the KU 44-yard line. They need the 34 to do the ag. Second down play from a shotgun. There's whistles. They're going to stop the play, and they were throwing a screen left. It came crashing through, and Farmer got the bad end of that. Somebody knocked him down. Here's Tom Ollers. Delay a game on the offense. Hmm. Remain second down. We got a minute and 42 seconds to go until the end of the first, and this game is scoreless. So second down, they need to get the KU 34. Shotgun trips to the left side, and it's a quarterback draw by Long, and they read it. He got back to the KU 49-yard line. It'll be third down and 15. All right, three wides on the left. That'll be Murphy, Porter, and Taylor. Shotgun, third down. We're all two on thirds. Ball's been snapped. Snaps back, throws, and he has got Porter, and he caught it for a first down at the 26-yard line. Oh, what a nice play, and that just went 22 yards to Porter. Dave, who else would we go to? <laughs> Greg Porter has 24 catches this year. That, that catch made his 15, 14 before that point was first down catches. First down and 10, the Aggies at the 26, 41 seconds to go. No score in the game in the first. Play action for Long. He's under pressure. He's throwing to the end zone. Got Taylor Whoa. overthrew him. A little bit out in front of him, near the back of the end zone, just on the end line. Had he been able to catch it, he would have been in bounds for the touchdown, but it went a little bit over his head. So for Long into the game today has 10 touchdown passes in the last three games. He's thrown the ball 152 times at the start of play, 72 completions, 47.4%, and just over 1,000 yards, averaging almost 170 a game. Second down and 10, and it's a fake on the draw. Now he's throwing end zone again. He's got Porter down there, and he overthrows him. Under a lot of pressure, he was knocked down as he released the ball. And knocked down by Travis Watkins. A lot of pressure with their front four on Dustin Long, which is not allowing him to set his feet. He's throwing the ball on his back legs, but we definitely have guys open running in their secondary. High formation, slot to the right, and it's a draw to Farmer. Broke a tackle behind the line, across the 20, fights for a first down. He got it, stumbles across the 15, goes to the 12. A draw to Farmer, and they just crossed Kansas up big time on third down and 10, and the Aggies just carried 14 yards, 14 steps toward the south end by... Derek Farmer, first stand, 10 for the Aggies at the 12 yard line. Six carries and 31 yards today at the 12. Hash left, I formation. And there is a, they're going to delay a game against AM. and no, the first quarter just ran out. Well, they stopped the uh, clock and blew the whistles and clock went three zeros. So we're going to go to the second and the Aggies are knocking on the door. First down and 10 at the Kansas 12 yard line when we return. And there's no score in this game. Out of an eye, Stacy Jones out of Midlands, the fullback. Farmer, the tailback, going to loft one, going in zone, trying to get it to Murphy. Oh, oh, off his fingertips here on the left side, in the zone, incomplete. In laid right in there. He just could not hold on to the uh, ball. Aggies have a uh, split in and a flanker. They have an eye formation. It goes to Farmer. Farmer left side, 10. He's across the 10 and now out of bounds. They'll spot him out shy of the five, and uh, the official spots still don't have it at about the seven-yard line. So here we go on a third down. Scoreboard says Ags need about five, so it's near the seven. Out of a shotgun, running back to the right. Give it to a Farmer. Farmer across the five. Farmer did not get the first down. He's down about the three. They hand it off on a delay to Farmer. He broke out of there, and then suddenly they had him wrapped up, and the man that got him was David McMillan out of Colleen High. On fourth down and about two near the three and a half, maybe the four yard line. It goes to Farmer. Farmer fights He's for in the there, end zone. Dave. He got it. <laughs> Broke it off the right side and he will score. And the Aggies take a six nothing lead with 14.08 to go in the second.
Dave, that they time. will convert on a fourth down, turn it into a touchdown. That's right, Dave. That time we, we the play before, the fourth down before that, we tried to run it through the middle of the line of scrimmage. That time we go off tackle Kansas State. They pinch everybody down. That time the off tackle Derek Foreman makes a great read, bounces outside, and goes in for the touchdown. Farmer now 9 for 43 and a touchdown. For Farmer, that's his sixth touchdown. Here's Pagram with the point after. It's on its way, and he will split the sticks on that one. The Aggies now with 14.08 to go here in the second period have taken a 7-0 lead over Kansas at Memorial Stadium in Lawrence. 14.08 to go at 7-0. Texas A&M just underway in the second chapter of this game today. Into the win. It's going to be a short kick. They're going to come up and take this one at the 20-yard line, stumbling and falling as he hits the 20 to about the 22-yard line. That return will, uh, I think that's going to be Hagen's again, so Hagen's will get that one out to uh, the 22. Dave Drive brought to you by the 12th Man Foundation. It was a very impressive one for the Aggies. 14 plays, 78 yards. Took off 423 on the clock. It was a four-yard touchdown run by Derek Farmer that got it in. The Todd Pegram kick made it 7-0 Aggies very early second quarter. Okay, we'll go down and get to the uh, first quarter stats from you in a moment, Will. Here we are, first down and 10 for Kansas at their 22 under center. Run the option coming back to the right side is Whittemore, and he'll get a yard to the 23. Nothing there. The Aggies wrap him up as he hit that line of scrimmage. First man to get to him was Brian Gamble. They picked up a yard, second down and nine for KU. They've got a trips formation to the left. They've got to tie it in on the right side. Short side of the formation, closing. They're going to throw a screen, and it can't be handled by Green as he caught it, and he was doing his best juggling impersonation of somebody in the circus, and he just could not hang on. On. Back behind the line of scrimmage at the 19, it goes incomplete. Third down and nine at the 23. They are two out of five on their third downs. KU, our score is 7 0. They've snapped it from under center. Whittemore now tripped up in the backfield and caught uh, back inside the 20 at the 17. He actually fell over one of the Aggies, Jared Morris, who had been blocked to the turf there. And then finally, Marcus Jasmine will catch it. Loss on the play, and uh, back at the 18-yard line, it's fourth down, 14. It's punt time, three for a 39-3 average for Ansley. As the wind at his back, high sailor drifting over is Johnson, calling for a fair catch, and he makes it at the Aggie 38-yard line. It's going to be pretty good field position for AM when we come back. That kick just went 43 yards. Aggies rushed for 138 last week, 257, passing against the Baylor defense and won that game 41 to nothing. Out of an eye formation, the Ags have made a change, and that will be Keith Joseph as the fullback, and it's Oshler Fleming as the tailback. Nice hole right side across the 40, goes to the 44-yard line. He'll pick up about six on that, maybe seven. We'll call it six, and it will be a second down and four coming up at the Aggie 44. Second down, scoreboard says four. At about the Aggie 44-yard line, need the 48, and it's play action. Under center with a single setback, long, throws over the middle, caught by Taylor across the 45, inside the 40. He's down to about the 37-yard line, make it the 38. Just went 19 yards on the pass to Taylor right over the middle. Plenty of time for long on the play. Taylor four for 62. That means he has four-plus receptions in all games this year. First down and 10 at their 38. Throw caught Murphy across the 30. Broke a tackle inside the 20 now to the 19-yard line. And that's going to go 18 yards, getting it in big chunks now. AM crossing pattern going left to right out between the hash marks. Broke a tackle across the 30 and advances that one just shy of the 19 yard line. Murphy, three for 31, long nine of 14, 120 yards. First down and 10 near the 19. Kansas into the field. It goes on a delay out of the backfield. That will go to Fleming, and Fleming will get about a yard or so. He's set up as the tailback. And he gets to about the, we'll give him the 17 yard line. So maybe a couple. Second down play. Hash mark to the left side. The offensive line. Uh, Ruber's out there right now for Brooks at the uh, right tackle. Carriger's the tie it in on the right side. The open side is to the right. Flanker out in that direction's Taylor. Play action. Here's Long. He's throwing. He's going in zone. He's got a man wide open. And they got Bethel Johnson by about a yard. Dave Bethel just caught it. That's a touchdown, Bethel Johnson. And for Bethel, that will be his fifth touchdown of the season. Dave, again, we go to the post corner. 
A lot, of the, a lot of these teams are trying to play man-to-man -man against us, stacking the line of scrimmage. What you do is you, you max protect, you run two receiver routes. That time we run a post corner with Bethel Johnson, similar to the play we ran last week, the touchdown pass from Reggie McNeil to Bethel. He's sitting in the corner of the end zone, wide open, Dustin Long, great poise. You know, those guys don't get all the credit, but the offensive line you should give those guys some credit because they're really protecting well today. Two for 22 and a touchdown for Bethel. Here's the point after by Pagram. The kick is up, and Pagram has made good on that one. Pagram now for the season is six. 16 out of 16 on his extra points. Time, 10-19. We're playing in the uh, second. And the Aggies are up now over Kansas at their place here in Lawrence by a score of 14 to nothing. Dave, the uh, drive took off two minutes and 17 seconds on the clock. It covered 62 yards in five plays. Capped it off with a 19-yard touchdown from Dustin Long to Bethel Johnson. 10-19 to go second quarter. Aggies 14, Jayhawks nothing. All right, a four-yard run by Farmer. 19-yard pass to uh, Johnson. The Aggies have just kicked off. The return man, Higgins at about the 10, dropped it, picked it up on the bounce, dropped it again. The Aggies are chasing the ball. It's been picked up, and that's going to be Webb to score. <laughs> Webb picked it up inside the 10 at about the 8, and he just got a quick six. <laughs> that's a quick six, Dave. I tell you what, the Kansas the Kansas returner didn't know what he wanted to do with that ball that time, but Randall Webb did, and he got in the end zone for the touchdown that time. That's the second touchdown scored by the uh, well, other than the offense, we've got a, a defensive touchdown by Byron Jones. Special teams gets that one. Randall Webb, I'm going to say he picked that up inside the 10 yard line, and uh, nobody was close. There's none of the Aggies around the ball. He got it on the bounce. So just like that, the Aggies have scored to make it 20 to nothing with 10:09 to go here in the first half. Randall Webb picked it up off the turf with a couple of his teammates standing around the ball and returned it into the end zone. Great. I'm going to say again about the eight-yard line, but we'll get the officials' uh, figures here on in a moment. So the Aggies now. With the extra points here by Pegram. It's spotted down after the snap by Chance Pierce. The hold is by Greg Porter, and it's up and it split the sticks again. So just like that, AM now 21 to nothing. Special teams scoring on a fumble that was dropped by uh, Hagens, then picked up by Webb, and he returned it into the end zone, we think, from about uh, the 8, 9, 10 yard line. The Aggie MasterCard. To apply, call NBNA America at 1 800 847 7378. AM 21 to nothing, 10 09 until halftime. This is the Texas Aggie Sports Network. Aggies have picked up a uh, fumble. They've returned it, we think, from about eight yards out. Randall Webb did that on the kickoff. Here the Ags kicking again. The Ags lead 21 to nothing over KU. Sidewinder kick. Drifting over Gasaway near the goal line at the two. His return. Matt Douglas had a shot at him, and the X now will close on Gasaway as he crosses the 15, and he falls forward out to the 19-yard line. All right, the ball is spotted to the 19. KU on first downs right now with three. They have two yards rushing, 28 passing, 30 yards total offense. Throw the ball caught by Jones, the tight end across the 25. To about the 28-yard line. Pick up of about eight. It'll be second down and two coming up. They lost at home last week to Colorado out here on this field by a score of 53-29. to 29. Here's second down and about a yard. Throwing this way goes to Gasoy. He has a first down at the 34. The Aggies will throw him into the sideline. That was Terrence Keel there on the tackle. And also, uh, is that Gerard Penrod? Trying to get a better angle on that number here in a moment. And Jesse Honeycutt's out there. So it was Jesse Honeycutt. They uh, just closed on him, and they make the stop, and they will pick up a first down, 21 to nothing. We're counting it down to nine minutes until halftime. Shotgun, three wides, two in a slot to the left side. Open side of the formation. Hash mark to the right side. They have a split in here on that uh, side of the formation. Whittemore has the snap. He's under some pressure. They're going to catch him, and they do. The Aggies will tackle him back at about the 30-yard line. Shy of the 30, but not quite the 31. A sack of Whittemore. Johnny Jolly's also in there, and he was in on that tackle along with uh, Jared Morris. And the loss is about three or four. It's going to be second down. They give him three. Second down and 13. Line of scrimmage again about the 31. Under pressure, chased, almost caught. Now throws to the sideline, and it goes incomplete out near midfield. Intended receiver Marcellus Jones covered by Byron Jones on the play. Pressure applied by Ty Warren. Two out of six on third downs now for Kansas. Out of the shotgun, Whittemore takes the snap, drops back to his 21. Once more, he's running for his life. He is caught. He throws the ball as he is going down. Down, trying to get it to gas away. Penright had him. The two were going down, and Whittemore throws, and it goes incomplete to Gasaway, who was standing about five yards away. So punt time again 
for KU. Yeah, the Aggies play this. Containment are going for an all-out block, and they almost got to him. The punt is away. Here's Bethel backpedaling back to the 15-yard line when he finally has control. Here comes the return, coming back to the left side. They're stringing him back to the 10. Now he's reversed his field again. He's in the end zone. There's a block. He cuts it back across the 10, spins away, goes out to the 14-yard line. <laughs> There was a block back here that caused one of the Kansas players to come out of his shoe. It's on the turf at the three. Don't know who threw the block. Bethel was actually a yard deep in the end zone after he had finally fielded the ball at the 15, dropped all the way back to the uh, a yard into the zone, and then brought it out to the 14-yard line. It's first down and 10 for the Aggies. They got the ball at their own 14-yard line. It's Dustin Long with an eye of formation. Farmer returns as the tailback, has the handoff. Left corner, got a block on the corner. He's to the 20. They run him into the sideline here right in front of us at the 23-yard line. That's not enough for a first down. It was at the 14. They're a yard shy, so he picks up nine. Good day here for Farmer running the football. You know what, boy, when Jones hits you, it's like a bug on the windshield. <laughs> and they gave him a first down. They have spotted the ball out at the 25. So That's they right. re-spotted. Now it's a first down for a and So at the 25 is where they get Gave the official out of bounds on the run by Farmer. He got a little bit more than 10. 7.38 to go. The Ags have snapped the ball. It goes to Farmer once more. Tries the right side. This time about four. So it'll be second down and six coming up. Aggies lead by a score of 21 to nothing. It's in the second period. We have 7.25 showing on the clock. Here's second down and six. The Aggies at their 29. Play action. Here's Long under a lot of pressure. Throws high across the 30 to about the 33. Way high. Taylor couldn't come up with that reception, and Jake Letourneau was there defensively, he's their strong safety. Third down and about six, shotgun for the Aggies, trips left, open side of the formation. Running back to his left long, split in on the right side, short side, as he snapped. Whistles will stop the uh, play. And for the, at the Aggies got caught for their second delay of game today. Got a third down now after the penalty against a and and about 11, Aggies need the 35, the ball about the uh, 24. Long the snap, he has time again, he throws, and it's batted up in the air and almost intercepted. Johnny McCoy had a hand on it, and one of the guys right behind him was close but could not get the ball before it hit the turf. Skates a 38-yard punt in the uh, game. Actually, I think they've ruled it as a 39, so one for 39. His average coming into the game today was a 45.7, a long of 64. And he's number three right now in the nation. Outside pressure, hmm. little wobbly kick off the side of his foot. Get a great AM roll, picked up across the 40 at about the 36, trying to get a return on it, Kansas. And they will be dropped back at the 36 yard line. The return man is Remiss Johnson, who had 15 uh, returns into the game. 40 yard kick, and the return was about two or three yards at the most. So, four yard run by Farmer, 14 plays, 78 yards. A 19-yard pass to Johnson, five plays, 62 yards, and a fumble recovery on the ensuing kickoff after the uh, Aggie touchdown drive where Johnson got the pass, picked up by Webb at about the eight, and returned it for a touchdown, making it 21 to nothing. First down and 10. Whittemore out of the shotgun. He throws, and it's caught out around the 45. That will be, no, they said he dropped it. He was juggling as he went down. And that was the tight end, Jones. So juggling, and uh, some of that was caused by Jesse Honeycutt. Down on the field quickly, Will Johnson. Aggies, the uh, Dave, the Aggies are trying to pitch a first-half shutout here on Kansas. If they do it, it'll be the sixth team in seven games that has not scored a touchdown on the Aggies in the first half. Only Tech did it. Here's second down and 10 at the uh, 36 of Kansas. Dropping back, throwing out in the flats on the right side, caught by Green. He's the running back who's set up in that formation as a right half and they get it out to the 39 yard line third down and a long six under center Whittemore looks to his left he throws and that ball is incomplete good defensive play at the 45 yard line by Sean Weston Kansas partisan crowd wants defensive pass interference call no flags and it's fourth down again for Kansas Bethel Johnson who gave us a lot of excitement on his last punt return is standing at the Aggie 15-yard line. Here's Anzel. This is a nice spiral. Bethel drifting over, and he is going to let that one hit as it rolls to the sideline and goes out of bounds inside the 20 at the 13-yard line. Here's first down and 10 for the Aggies at their own 13-yard line. 5.39 to go in the first. The Ags lead 21-0. Farmer, the handoff, tries the right corner, broke a tackle as he hits the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a flag down, and uh, he goes out of bounds, does Farmer at the 15. A pickup of two if it stands. A hold against Texas A&M. 
on the offense. Half the distance from the previous spot remains straight down. 5.34 to go until the half, and the Aggies are up by a score of 21 to nothing. An eye formation, slot to the left, split in on the right. Hash right, drops straight back, does long throws, and he threw a little bit too much in front of Porter across the 10 at about the 12. It goes incomplete. Here's second down and about 16 for AM at their seven. And it's a draw, it goes to Farmer, and he's hit behind the line, he's gonna be smothered, they're gonna give him the five. Loss of about two and a half to Farmer. Read that well for Kansas. Now they face a third down, scoreboard says 18. Got to punch it all the way out to the 23 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the Aggie five. Shotgun for Long, steps back into his end zone. Quarterback draw, will run with it at the 10, at the 15, at the 20, lowers his head. Hey, and he get a first it. down, he did, across the 23 to the 24 yard line. The Aggies up by a score of 21 to nothing over Kansas. It favors Hash right, I formation. Tied in on the left, split into the right. Got a flanker way out here on this side of the field. And it goes again to Farmer. Nice hole across the 30, broke a tackle, dragging a man with him. And they go across the 35 to the 38, maybe the 39-yard line. Had a guy on his ankle, and the two kept going up north, and that went 13 yards. Sure, they were all the way back at their five-yard line. It's first down and 10 at the 39. They need to get right at midfield for a first down. Out of the eye, play action, long, under some pressure. Now he throws deep. Going to have to wait for it, and it's batted away. They're trying to get it to Bethel Johnson. Around the 25-yard line, batted up in the air and away by Remis Johnson. Aggies now 17, carries 98 yards, goes to Fleming. They're trying to right side, broke a tackle behind the line. He's going to get about two yards on this. That was second down and 10 at the Aggie 39. He gets across the 40 to the 41. So now third down and eight coming up. Van Zant will go as they split in on the right side. That's the short side. Trips formation, including Murphy, Porter, and Taylor. Running back stayed in the block to the left of Long. A lot of time. He's throwing, and he threw way high over Murph's head. Down around the 39-yard line, Kansas into the field. Murph went up, got a little bit of a hand on that. And the inside backers are Webb and Morris as they show shotgun. Here's Whittemore throwing, and it is caught across the 20 to about the 24-yard line. Line of scrimmage was the 19. That'll be a pickup of five yards to the 24. So second down and five coming up. They, the Jayhawks have jumped into their two-minute offense. Right now they're, they're at a little more quicker pace than they've been in with their regular offense. They're going out of a trips formation. They will throw, and the ball will be caught. That uh, catch is made across the 30. And out of bounds, the two win on the defense. That was Sean Weston. Ball caught by Rideau. And that'll be a first down for Kansas. So now Sammy D is out probably for the rest of the game. Quarterback draw by Whittemore. Runs up the middle across the 35 out to about the 39-yard line. Not enough for a first down. They needed the 42. That was second down and 10 at their own 32. Whittemore now 7 of 17 and 60 yards in the game. Moves under center. Has a single setback, and that will be Green. Has his snap. He's rolling to his right. Reads the defense. Throws the football. Deflected, and it goes out of bounds right in front of us here in front of the uh, Kansas bench. So they did not take the full timeout, did not convert a third and three to a first down. They end up facing fourth down and 11. Line of scrimmage back at the KU 31-yard line. They will punt the ball. Ansel, another nice punt backing up. Bethel Johnson will take it at the Aggie 13. Here's his return to the 20, 25, wrapped up. He breaks a tackle. He's across the 35. He's out to the 41-yard line. I think the official spot will be at the 40, but he broke a tackle back around the 30 or so on a punt that went, uh, what, 20, was that a return of 29? And out to the uh, out to the Aggie 40. First down and 10, the Aggies 111 to go until half. They lead by a score of 21-0. Out of a shotgun, throw to the sideline, and into the sideline after the catch. A gain here of about seven to Murphy. If you can see the confidence again in Dustin Long on that pass right there. We run a speed out. It's really tough to throw a speed out right there. At that time, he put the ball right on the money for Terrence Murphy. Murphy caught uh, three for 88 in that Pittsburgh game. Out of the shotgun, second down and three. Long backs up to his 40. He's throwing deep, and he will throw over the head of everybody. That hits down incomplete around the 20. Murphy to the right side. Slot left. That includes the slot man, Porter. 
And then they jumped off sides. And they're going to be a free play. The Aggies are pumping. They're going to throw the ball. And that is going to be incomplete. Amadi has it knocked away from from him by Porter. Amadi had a chance, and Porter reached in there and knocked the ball away. They almost had an interception at about the KU 45-yard line. But a flag down offsides, and it'll be a free play for Texas A&M. They went ahead and threw it offsides against the defense. A first down for A&M. The Aggies, by the way, a plus 12 in turnovers into this one, not gone to a plus 13. And for Kansas, they were a uh, plus one. They are even after a fumble recovery by the Ags. Here's a first down and 10 out of the backfield. That'll be caught by Jones, and he will turn that into a gain to the 40-yard line, a pick up of eight. And now the Aggies will take a timeout. They'll stop the clock facing a second down and about two at the KU 40. Texas A&M with the ball, second down, and about two at the KU 40-yard line. It's been snapped with, uh, here's a double pop, and Long has been sacked back across the 45, back at about the 48-yard line. All right, the Aggies, third down and 10 at the KU 48-yard line. Shotgun. And a couple of receivers to the right side. Straight drop, throw, ball caught. That'll be Porter, 30, 25, 20. He will be tackled and brought down at the 19-yard line. Porter at the 19. Shotgun and a slot right split in here on the left side. Running backs both sides of Long as he snapped. Drops back to the 28th, throw it, and it will be tapped away at the 10-yard line. Ball close to the 19, but the scoreboard saying at the 20 on the second down and 10. Again, the time, 23 seconds. Shotgun once more and a slot to the right, split in a left. Here's Long throwing, and it's going to be caught by Bethel Johnson at the 10. Not enough for the first down. It's going to be a third down coming up and a yard for AM. With 12 seconds to go, Aggies 21 to nothing. Here is the play out of an eye. They're going to throw, and they're going to throw to Taylor, and it's in the end zone, and they're going to be a, a flag. flag. Flag will go down, two flags, matter of fact, on the side of the end zone near the far corner in play, and there's going to be defensive pass interference called against Remiss Johnson, who has five interceptions coming into this game today for the uh, University of Kansas. So now with seven seconds showing, the Aggies up 21 to nothing. Here is Tom Ollers. On the defense, in the end zone, the ball will be placed on the two-yard line, first and goal at the two. Pegram will, uh, this ball will is going to be spotted at the nine yard line. The angle's back to the left. It is a 19 yard effort. Here's Will Johnson. 19 yards away. Snapper will be Chance Pierce. Holder Greg Porter sets him up. Kick is up on its way. He banged it through. The Aggies have three more before the half. Four seconds to go, and the Aggies have just made it a 24 to nothing game with four ticks remaining until halftime, leading Kansas here in large regions. The streak to help you do more. This is Texas Aggie football. AM up 24 to nothing. The Aggies have just kicked a field goal. Pagram now for the year is six out of 13. He's perfect on all of his extra points. Aggies have kicked off. It's a low skimmer. And the return will be back across the 35 to about the 38 yard line by one of the upbacks. Just wanted to get that last four seconds off the board. And they do. And we'll see before we take the break. Well, we'll go ahead and tell you that that was a 19 yard field goal by Pagram. It was eight plays and 58 yards. And the Aggies took 107 off the clock, utilized the clock there, and moved right down the field and got the field goal to take a 24 to nothing halftime lead. The Ags have exercised their option to start the second half. They will receive the wind at the back of KU in the uh, third quarter. 24-0, and the ball has been kicked. Here is Johnson waiting for it, yard deep. Back to the 10, back to the 15. The 20 breaks through there, and then they pile on top of him as he goes across the 20 to the 22-yard line. So a 22-yard kickoff return by Bethel Johnson, and the Aggies have it. First down and 10, the Aggies at the 22-yard line. An I formation, Keith Joseph is the fullback, and it goes to the uh, tailback. Joe. That's Farmer across the 30, and he's going to get a first down. He gets about uh, 12 yards on his first carry, 13 yards on his first carry of the second half. Slot right, tight end left. Matter of fact, two tight ends in this formation. 
And that is Greg Porter's the other tight end. Single setback. Goes to Farmer. Broke a tackle at the line. Gets across the 35. Goes to about the 39-yard line. So two carries by Farmer. He gets about six on that one. It'll be second down and four coming up. Second down play. Carragher has returned as the Aggie tie it in. And he lines up on the right side. We've got a slot here on the left side. The wide out is Murphy. The slot man is Taylor. It's an I formation. Play action. Drops back to the 30. Long throw and hit as he threw the ball. And this one is going to be intercepted at the 40-yard line. The KU 40 intercepted on the play by Ramis Johnson. Shotgun for Whittemore. Moves his running back green to his right. Now he moves him back to the left. He's got a trips formation on the left side. He's got a wide out on the short side to the right. Quarterback draw by Whittemore. Carries it to the 40. There's a marker down as he gets out to about the 43-yard line. Flag goes down. It's going to be a hold against Kansas. Marker takes it back to the 30. First down and 20 at their own 30. KU in penalties. Four for 30 in the game. We've got 13.35 to go in the third. The Aggies are up in the game 24 to nothing. First down and 20 at the 30-yard line. From the shotgun, Whittemore throws out in the flats left side. That's going to be caught, and it'll be a gain of about seven yards out, too, from the 30 to the 37-yard line. Caught on that uh, play. That was Derek Mills. Trips to the right. That's the wide side of the field. They put a man in motion. That's Mills. Starts left, comes back to the right. Under center, Whittemore. Time to throw. Look straight over the middle. Now he's rolling here to the right. Look in sideline. Throws. And it's knocked up in the air. Intercepted AM Jackson Appel. <laughs> tip drill. That's Aggie's tip knocking drill again. up in the air. <laughs> and Jackson Appel gets the interception and tipped apparently by. Byron Jones. <laughs> and now back on offense, first down and 10. The ball spotted at the Aggie 48 yard line, an eye formation as the Ags have brought Reggie McNeil in. He goes back, he slips and falls back across the 40, back at the Aggie 38 yard line. So Reggie McNeil has replaced Dustin Long. It'll be a second down and 20 coming up for Texas A&M. Once more, an eye behind McNeil and a slot to the right, tight end left, Carragher has the snap. It's play action. He's going to throw a rope, and that'll be caught across the 50 at the 48-yard line. Not enough for a first down. Goes to Bethel Johnson at the 48. They're down at six. Time is 11-19 to go in the third. Aggies lead 24 to nothing. Here's the third down play. Quarterback draw by McNeil. He's fighting for a first down. He's across the 35, and I don't think he's going to get the first down. Going to stop him at the uh, set 45 at the 44-yard line. Skates is three uh, kicks and a 39-7 average. Mac Douglas is the 12th man today. He's wearing that number 12, and he is one of the split ends here in this punt formation. Skates, the snap. Here's his kick into the wind. They're calling for a fair catch or telling everybody to get away. And that's going to hit right in front of the return man, Remis Johnson, across the 20, and then rolls dead inside the 15 at the 12 and that kick inside the 20 he pooches that one for a 32 yard effort by Cody Skates 10 19 to go in the third the Aggies 24 to nothing Kansas has the ball first down and 10 at their 12 following a Skates punt hash marks to the right side green is the lone setback they have the fullback flexed out here to the left Whittemore will take the snap roll to his left as he's going toward the sideline and he fights his way out across the 15 and out of bounds, he goes with Sean Weston on him, or that Archie McDaniel. Archie McDaniel, 41, not 31, and they knock him out at about the 18-yard line. Second down, a pickup of seven. It'll be about three needed for KU. And they show shotgun with a running back green to his right. With a more of the snap, looks out here in the flats. He throws to green and right through his hand. He should have had that one. It was about waist high, and it goes incomplete. They scored 29 against Colorado. The Aggies now have thrown their defense, has thrown a shutout for six consecutive quarters. Shut out Baylor in all four quarters, and they've shut out Kansas in the first half of this game today. Here's third down and three at their 19. It's a quarterback draw to Whittemore. He has a, well, going to be close for a first down. He has it as he breaks the tackle and goes to the 26. Whittemore gets the carry across the 25 to the 26-yard line. Ronald Jones, the freshman redshirt out of Dallas Skyline, along with Randall Webb will combine on that uh, tackle. Well, Dave, we told you earlier that Texas A&M has not allowed a, uh, uh, an opponent to score a touchdown in the first half with the exception of Texas Tech. Unlikely the Jayhawks would make a comeback during this quarter because A&M has not allowed any team to score a touchdown during the third quarter. They've only allowed a field goal during the third quarter. Shotgun for Whittemore on first down and 10. The Aggies up 24 to nothing. Throws the ball, and that's going to be caught, and he went down as on the knee as soon as Gasaway caught it at the 32-yard line. 
Ronald Jones in, Sean Weston in, there's Jackson Appel, you got Terrence Keel, the inside linebackers are McDaniel and Webb. Like the front three are the starters. Out of the shotgun, they're going to throw, and they threw that out in front of the intended receiver. They were going screen to the left, and that intended receiver that time was Brandon Rodeau, one of the wideouts, and it goes incomplete, so they miss on that. It'll be third down and four coming up. Yes. Whittemore now 10 of 24, Kevin, and 73 yards. Here's the third down play from the shotgun. Roll, sets up, throwing deep, going sideline, and that will go into the Aggie bench across midfield to the Aggie 35-yard line. That was way out of bounds. Ronald Jones was there. Here's the fourth down, and Ansel is back to uh, kick it away. That's a good snap. There's an end-over-end -end kick. Backing up is Bethel Johnson at the 12. Dropped it, picked it up on the bounce. Here's a return to the 15, 20. Oh, he's hit, and he spins across the 25. Somebody got a hand on him and turned him around like a top. Carries it across the 25 to the 26-yard line. First down and 10 for Texas A&M at their 26. And as the Aggies come to the line of scrimmage on a first down and 10 at their 26-yard line. A handoff to Derek Farmer between he and Reggie McNeil was not completed, and it went to the turf and a fumble recovery by Leo Etienne of Kansas at the Aggie 24-yard line. First down and 10, he'll take the snap and the shotgun at his 29, and the Aggie 29 drops back, throws it to Mills out in the flats. He is across the 20 to the 18-yard line. It'll be a pickup of six. It'll be second down and four coming up for Kansas in the official spot at the 18-yard line. Clock's going to go under eight minutes before they snap the ball. There's the snap. Drops back. Sets up. 27 going in zone. He's got gas away. Touchdown! Far side of the field just across the goal line. And then as soon as he got into the end zone, he ran out of the uh, sideline. And a touchdown pass of 18 yards to Gassaway. That is his first TD of the season. That suddenly makes it a 24 to 6 game on the fumble recovery. They take it in in a couple of plays. Now the point after. This is Johnny Beck. He is 18 of 21 on his extra points this year. The holder is the punter, Curtis Ansel. A little low on the snap. Here's the kick. It's up. The kick is good. And now a 7.56 remaining in the third quarter. It is 24 to 7. Texas A&M over Kansas here in Lawrence. And again, they got the fumble recovery after a uh, handoff between McNeil and Farmer that wasn't completed. I think it was Etienne that got the fumble recovery. Here's the kickoff. Not that deep. Bethel Johnson at the 11 to the 20. Cuts back this side of the field. Turns on the speed. Flag down 30, 35 into the sideline they go. Across the 40 and about the 42-yard line. And that flag came on the other side of the field, away from where the play on the return was developing. And they pick the flag up and drop it at the 28-yard line. Now here's Tom Ollers. Holding, holding. On the return team. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. First down and 10, A&M. At their 18, 7.45 in the third. The Aggies lead 24-7. Reggie McNeil in at the quarterback position. Stacy Jones is the fullback, and uh, that's Derek Farmer is the tailback. Here's McNeil barking signals. He's got to tie it in on the left side of the formation and a flanker out there as well. Hand off this time to Farmer. Breaks the uh, tackle at the line of scrimmage across the 20 to the 27-yard line. He's going to pick up about nine on that, but we'll give him eight. They're going to spot him at the 26. It'll be second down and two coming up. Derek continues to run the ball well. All right, second down and about two from the Aggie 26. They're going to need the 28. High formation again. The split in right and a flanker here on the left. Carriger to tie it in. It goes to Farmer. He almost dropped that ball. He gets across the 30. Boy, he was coming close. He was down on his thigh, able to bring it back up across the 30 to the 33-yard line. First down for Texas A&M. Hash mark to the right side. First and 10. 6.38 to go. The Aggies up 24-7. Play action. Throw it, and it's batted up in the air and intercepted by Kansas at the 37-yard line of A&M. Whittemore. In the shotgun will take the snap standing at the Aggie 40. Aggie 35 for Kansas is the line of scrimmage. It's a draw. It goes to Green. Good hole. 30. 33. Well, a 28-yard line. 
Across the 30 to about the 28, picks up close to eight on that one, does Green. Four carries, 17 yards on Green. Whittemore will move under center. Single set back, two wides, both sides of the ball. Once more, he goes to Green. They try the middle. He's going to be short of a first down. He's going to carry to the Aggie 26-yard line. It'll be third down and a yard coming up at the Aggie 36. and m sending Jesse Honeycutt off the field and bringing Ronald Jones back out. Honeycutt goes to the bench. The inside linebackers are Gamble and Morris. Under center once more, Whittemore. Whittemore sneaks for it, and he will get the first down across the Aggie 25 to the 24. It'll be first down and 10 for Kansas at the AM 24-yard line. First down and 10, the AM 24 for Kansas. Single set back, and again, they go with two wides on both sides. Run the option coming back this way. Whittemore cuts it downfield and gets to about the 21-yard line. They ran option right side with their quarterback, Whittemore. Never really thought about pitching that ball. They now have 123 yards of total offense. Second down and seven near the Aggie 21-yard line. Hash mark to the right side, and again they go with slot formation both sides. They break the slot by putting Mills in motion. He goes right to left. Whittemore, time to throw. Now he's forced out of the pocket, running the sideline, looking down the field, and he goes out of bounds across the 20 and steps out at the Aggie 19-yard line. 24-7, Texas A&M, 413 to go in the third. Trips to the left, wide out to the right, shotgun Whittemore. He throws, and it comes. I went out of bounds. That slipped out of his hands. They came out of bounds. You're way out in front of the intended receiver on that play, and that'll be Marcellus Jones. Coverage from Byron Jones, but that was way out in front of Jones. I had no chance at all. Well, Johnson, they're going to spot this uh, field goal effort at the 25, a 35-yard effort. All right, snap is back. Kick is on its way. We have whistles blown. The kick just got inside the left upright, but they stopped the play. A legal procedure against Kansas. The kick was good, Will, but they're going to spot five against them. The Aggies will take the penalty. Okay, Johnny Beck, their kicker, a little further now. Trying to make it 24-10, still in the Aggies' favor. Snap it back. Kick is on its way. This one's wobbling. It's hooking. It is no good to the left. Okay, off to his left. He misses from 40 yards out. Beck. Aggies will keep the score at 24 to 23 with 404 remaining in the uh, 24 to uh, 7 with the 404 remaining in the third. Long now will return and operate at the quarterback position. Stacy Jones is the fullback, and the tailback is Farmer. Long may be calling a uh, audible. Look to his left and his right, and he hands off. It's Farber up the middle, and Farber goes across the 30, and Farber shy of a first down by a couple. Gets eight on a first and 10. It'll be second and two coming up as he gets it out to the 31. Five times for his career, now over 100, 100 uh, even against Notre Dame, 133 Iowa State, 118 Louisiana Tech, 132 Texas Tech, 108 in this game. Second down and a couple for Texas A&M. Tight end right, open side to the right, play action for Long. He's throwing deep. He's got Taylor looking back in the sun, caught the ball at the 35. He's down the sideline. He's They're trying in, to Dave. close on him and they won't do it. It is <laughs> a in. touchdown. Great job. Tell you what, Dave, that, that went for 60, was it 69 yards that time. That time we run a, a post corner post with, with Jamar Taylor. We Max protect. We've been doing it all day. We keep in all our linemen and our tight ends. We block and then they block well to give uh, Dustin Long great protection. He Long 15 of 28, 259, and a couple of touchdowns. Here's the extra point by Pagram. It's up, and it's good. And the Aggies strike, and they reestablish a lead here of 31 to 7, back to a 24 count. We've got 315 remaining in the third, and your Aggies are up 31 to 7 over Kansas here in Lawrence. Up, Jayhawk fans. It's time for all kids 12 and under to... Texas A&M kicking off. Here's Skates, puts his foot into it. Sidewinder backing up at about the three. Here comes the return across the 15. Spilled as he hits the 20-yard line. First down and 10. Shotgun for Whittemore. He has two running backs in the backfield this time. Has he snapped? Drops back to his 10. He's under some pressure. He's going to have to run out of the 20. Out across the 20. 25. Got away from that man. He's at the 30. Cuts it back to his left. Going sideline. Out to the 35-yard line. He's going to get about 15 yards on that carry. Whittemore. Out to the 35, first down and 10, KU. Everett Smith's out on the field for AM. Nick Lasada's in there. Johnny Jolly's playing. Linus Smith stays in. The inside backers are McDaniel and Webb. 
Rod Penwright stays in for Texas A&M. First down and 10 at their 35. Out in the flats, it will go incomplete. Way out in front of Green, out of the backfield to the 34-yard line. Way low. He had no chance at all. Second down and 10. High formation behind Whittemore. He's under his center. He's barking signals. The line of scrimmage is the 35. Has he snapped? Wants to throw. He's rolling right. He sets up. He does throw the ball. It's going to be caught by Gassaway across the 45. Broke a tackle. Won't break the next, however, as he's hit by Keel at about the 47-yard line. Then Ronald Jones also closed in in a hurry. So at the 47, that'll be a first down. I think Everett Smith has come back in to replace him. They've snapped it. It's a draw. It goes to Green. Hits midfield. He's across midfield. 40 across the Aggie. 35. He's inside the 35 to the 32-yard line. Big chunk of change there. Byron Jones finally wrapped him up. That's going to go 20 yards to Green. Break the huddle by sending Marcellus Jones and Gas away to the left side here on the bottom side of the formation. Should be Simmons. They go with an I formation. Mark Simmons is a split in right short side of this formation. Snap, run the option. Going back to the left. Will he make a pitch? He did not, and he's just been smothered behind the line of scrimmage. Will lose a yard from the Aggie 32 back to the 33. Randall Webb was on top of Whittemore that time. 